Um, I started coming here a year ago. Um, at a time, you know, I felt like God brought me here because I was at a time that I had kind of fallen away from the church. Um, I had isolated myself, hadn't been to church in many years just by slowly becoming more and more isolated, more things piling up in my life, not realizing it. And I came to a very, very low point. Um, at that time, I just remember crying out to God to bring me friends, to help me. Um, I pretty much had hit my rock bottom, I would say. You know, um, I was just telling my, my kids this the other day, my older teenagers, because I'm very open with them about God's love and my testimony at home with everything that they've that God's done for me and for us as a family. And I said, you know, I've always been a very positive person and my whole life I could never ever grasp why anyone would want to kill themselves or why would anyone ever do anything like that. I had always been filled with so much hope and love. And I actually got to a point in my life where I felt like, okay, now I understand. Because so many things, my husband had been, um, he, str he struggles with, um, suffers from chronic pain. He has a, uh, uh, trigeminal neuralgia so he's always in pain and there were about four years there where he um, was just gone he was just he became addicted to painkillers um, that were prescribed to him and that were used to treat his pain although they really didn't do much but as he would say they made him um, they just made him not care about the pain as much so there were about four solid years where he was gone and um, I was left alone with, we had eight children, um, trying to manage that, trying to manage life, reaching out to people and as Pastor Ben was just talking about, my expectations not being met in other people, being disappointed and sad and when I came here I found um, family, what you know what has become family to me, I've found love, support, God's grace, God's, you know, these people are God's hands and feet. I feel like they really, they, they feed you when you come here, as you were saying, a wonderful meal. Um, and that's just the first step when you walk in the door. They, everybody greets you by name, and we've all just become a family. So those are, you know, those are rolling into what I love about it, but I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that, that was what I wanted to say. Um... Another thing, expounding on what I love about coming here, about um, the Genesis community, is uh, the the per, that personal touch that you feel that it is, like I was saying, God's hands and feet. That um, the like I said, two, two weeks ago, I put in a prayer request, a serious prayer request. We've been struggling struggling with finances, cleaning up the mess from those four years of addiction that my husband struggled with and him not being able to work and just so much. Well, God's been cleaning that up for us, but we have a lot of um, a lot of work to do financially on that. So we had a really big crisis. I put in a prayer request just as I was leaving, and um, the next day, Pastor Ben called me on his cell, on my cell, and, and just reached out to me. I was just so touched that, because you know he he cares, you know, that it was genuine. He was genuinely, how are you doing? I read your prayer request and I want to know how we can help you. Um, and I was talking to my friend about this, my best friend, and she said, you know what, I've been going to my church for 10 years and um, I just had surgery last month and no one has ever called me. No one even. And, and I said, I've only been here for a year and, you know, one prayer request and the next day. And, and we talked back and forth four or five times on the phone, getting through this crisis. Um, and texted, and you know, I came in last week and gave him a big hug and just updating him on what's going on. And that's the kind of love and family that you, that I've gotten here and that I think everyone has gotten here. We all know each other by name now. And this is just, I, I can never miss it. I'm so sad when I miss it for that reason. <laughs>